of course uh, this is today we will do the cell a structure and function all right uh, before we start you tell me the, whether you had any problem in that uh, cell division that the meiosis mitosis we solved the some question and explain did you have any any problem there hello no sir no so okay then we will start the same here we will directly come to that solving question solving mcq multiple choice question on this topic okay cell structure and function so here we will solve question and side by side we will discuss explain the uh, related structure and their function okay so uh, in general that uh, we know the all the all the living organism no living organisms organisms are made of made of cells and cell product is it okay so related to this we will here that is the question number 1 that to which of the following statement is incorrect right the following question which one is incorrect unicellular organism statements are unicellular organisms are capable of independent existence any structure less than a complete cell does not ensure independent living matthias sladen a german geologist discovered the nucleus leven hock first saw and described a cell so which one is incorrect can you tell hello can you can you can you tell which one is incorrect yes which one is incorrect option 3 option 3 option the option 3 is option 3 is incorrect yes option 3 option 3 says uh, matthias sladen a german geologist discovered the nucleus no this one is uh, really it is wrong sladen was sladen was a german botanist actually first thing he was a he was a botanist and he studied cells from many different plants okay 
if observed plant cells he was flagen was botanist german botanist and he studied cell and he found that the plants all the plants body are made of cells so first the here nucleus was discovered by was discovered by whom by robert what robert brown robert brown okay and robert hook was robert hook robert hook he studied he observed the cell for the first time observed cell okay he observed the cell in the slice of slice of bottle cork and that was seen like a small small holes where their houses so they were given the name cell and anton van leeuwenhoek he for the first time observed the living cell all right living cell was first observed by leeuwenhoek and so so the wrong question was the wrong statement is this one swan was the german uh, british that the british geologist uh, is it so he has studied animal cells so cells from animals many animals and told that animal body is made of cell okay next question so these were these were very correct statement from the first one all right this anything if it is not a complete cell that cannot lead independent life any structure less than a complete cell does not ensure independent living all right so if unicellular organism unicellular organisms are made up single cell but it is also complete cell so they have a independent living independent existence okay so anything and a the complete cell structure means it has cell protoplasm cell is made of protoplasm that is the living substance and a cell has it is a mass of protoplasm and it contain the cell contain at least a nucleus a mass of protoplasm and surrounded by a limiting membrane that is that limiting membrane is cell membrane okay come to the next question swan proposed the cell theory according to which the cell theory says what 
each cell of the body possesses the same genetic information is it the part of the cell theory each cell swans he proposed cell theory from the observation of uh, observation of slyden and swan so uh, that this is not the part of the cell theory all life activities of organisms are present in miniature form of each and every cell of its body yes this is also true but this one was not swan cell theory does not contain this bodies of animals and plants are made up of cells and their product this is the cell theory that was proposed by swan bodies of animals and plants are made up of cell and their product this product may be extracellular means their cell is there and the cells they produce substances which come out from the cell and remain around the cells so these are the product of the cells so that this is the cell theory of swan and slide it all right a new cell always developed by the division of pre existing cell this is also the statement in the cell theory but this was not proposed by swan okay so this later on first cell theory was this statement all right and later on one cell theory was a little bit modified and it was revised revised by redolf virtue okay and he was the first one who told that new cell arise he told new cells arise by the division of a pre existing cell the cell which was present from the beginning or before that one divide and give the new cells so this statement was given by rudolf virtue and then the slide and swans cell theory was revised so this is next this third question cell theory was formulated by this one slyden and swan this was the first existence of the cell theory not alone riddle virtue or robert brown or who okay slyden and swan later on riddle added these things there's a, there is a one so that is in latin okay omni cellula e cellula it uh, that english meaning literal meaning is all cell arise from pre existing cells okay omni cellula e cellula so who gave this concept and modified cell theory just now i told that it was the rudolf virtue so this one is the answer 
Redolf virtue. Okay, you can read, you know, on the um, next question. So, uh, cell theory initially was one statement, and later on, this one also added. After it was uh, after 1853. Hmm. Choose the incorrect option. Question number five. Here is mycoplasma is the smallest cell. Bacteria are three to five micrometer. These are, these are the dimension, diameter. Okay. About the mycoplasma is about 0.3. The largest cell is the egg of an ostrich. Nerve cells are some of the smallest cell. Here, from here, incorrect option we have to select. Say, mycoplasma is the smallest cell. This is correct statement. This one is correct. So 0.3 micrometer in diameter. Bacteria is bigger than mycoplasma. Okay, this is 0.3 to 0.5 micrometer. And the largest cell is the egg of ostrich. The egg, egg cell of any organism that is single cell and that whatever the cells we can see, most of the cells are microscopic, is it? Cells are microscopic in their size. Dimension is microscopic without in naked eye, we cannot see. But some of the cells that can be easily seen, all types of eggs, they are the single cell, is it? So that cell we can see in naked eye. You eat uh, no? the eggs, chicken, ducks, and other birds' egg. Those are actually single cell. And ostrich, that is the flightless, very big bird, uh, which cannot fly, flightless bird. This ostrich egg is the largest. It has a nearly six inch diameter. Okay, so very big egg. And nerve cells are some of the smallest cell. No, nerve cells are also very big because you, do you remember the nerve cell structure? This body of the nerve cell, that cytone, and these are the dendrite, and there is exon, that this is the portion that, so this part particularly is very, very long, is it, sometime? So this, uh, uh, these uh, nerve cells are also among the largest, particularly the longest cells in the animal body, nerve cells. Nerve cells are very long. Okay, so this statement is wrong. So incorrect statement is that nerve cell, this is, the wrong statement, incorrect. Next come to the question number six, which of the following represent prokaryotic cell? We know that cell and organisms are basically two types. One is prokaryote, and eukaryote, is it? 
which are prokaryote? Say here, which of the following represent the prokaryotic cell? Which one? All of these. All of these, because PPLO, this one also like mycoplasma, okay? This is pleuronemonia-like organism. This one is called pleuro pneumonia pneumonia like organism there is also more or less it is the mycoplasma okay so this causes respiratory disease huh. Uh, respiratory disease, uh, pneumonia. So lungs infection it causes. And so it was given the name PPLO. This is prokaryote. Mycoplasma is prokaryote. Bacteria is prokaryote. So all of these are prokaryotic organism. Mycoplasma is smallest and it is not having cell wall. This mycoplasma is without cell wall. Okay? They are unicellular without cell wall. Other prokaryote all are having cell wall. Among the prokaryote comes this uh, PPLO, mycoplasma, bacteria. In the bacteria, there is a cyanobacteria. U bacteria, that is the true bacteria. Cyanobacteria, this one is also known as blue-green algae. <coughs> they have cell wall, bacteria also having cell wall, okay? But mycoplasma is without cell wall. So uh, earlier, in the earlier classification, that uh, when there was a two kingdom classification were followed, in the two kingdom classification, this bacteria and cyanobacteria, they were kept under plant kingdom because, because they had cell wall. They are having cell wall. So all these organisms having the cell wall, they were kept together under the plant kingdom. Mycoplasma is not uh, without uh, uh, cell wall, so you can say that this one is nearing the animal. PPLO and mycoplasma, they are near to animal in terms of the presence or absence of cell wall. Okay. Next question. The genetic material is naked in. Genetic material is naked in. Where it is naked? Naked means what? We know the genetic material is. Genetic material in the organism is the DNA, is it? DNA is the genetic material. Now, this uh, RNA is genetic material in viruses. In some of the viruses, RNA is the genetic material. Otherwise, this in all organism, whether prokaryote or eukaryote or those which are cellular organism, they have DNA as the 
genetic material. The virus where RNA is the genetic material, that one is not a cellular, not having cellular organization. Right, now this is in prokaryote, the DNA is naked, genetic material is naked. Actually, in eukaryote, in eukaryote, DNA is associated with histone protein, a protein which is known as histone protein. And this DNA and histone protein complex, that one is known as chromatin. Okay? So DNA is associated with histone protein. This is called chromatin. And this chromatin make the chromosome. All right? But in case of prokaryote, in prokaryote, this histone protein is absent. Means DNA is not associated with with histone protein. So it is called the naked DNA. Clear? So the genetic material is naked in prokaryote. All eukaryote, multicellular organism or unicellular organism, they have DNA associated with histone forming the chromatin. Okay, this is one of the big difference between the prokaryote and eukaryote. So basically, this prokaryote and eukaryote means what? Prokaryote is? Prokaryote is that primitive nucleus, carry on. Carry on is nucleus okay prokaryote means primitive type of nucleus and eukaryote means true nucleus true nucleus means that there is a well organized this one the genetic material is so this is genetic material. This genetic material is within a organized nucleus structure. There is a nuclear membrane, but here it is not there. So number eight. One of the major component of the cell wall of most fungi. Option four. Option four is chitin. Okay. Chitin or we call fungal cellulose. Fungi cell wall is made of chitin or fungal cellulose, okay? 
in the plant in the plant the cell wall is made of cellulose hemicellulose okay peptidoglycan this one is found in the cell wall of prokaryote in bacteria okay see this question was asked in neat 2016 now question number 9 the cell organelle that is present in cytoplasm as well as other organelle ribosome ribosome okay ribosome is a cell organelle which is present free in the cytoplasm cytoplasm okay on the surface of of endoplasmic reticulum this one is free in the cytoplasm second that on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum and they are also found inside mitochondria and chloroplast that is in the plastid this uh, ribosome is found and so uh, this uh, ribosome due to presence of the ribosome the mitochondria and chloroplast they can synthesize protein also some of the protein and that is why the mitochondria and chloroplast they also have dna rna dna rna and ribosomes na no? and that's why they can synthesize protein and that is why we call that mitochondria and chloroplast are semi autonomous bodies they are semi autonomous bodies semi autonomous cell organelles okay number 10 which one of the following is not an inclusion body found in prokaryote not an inclusion say within the cell cytoplasm all right there is cell organelles in cytoplasm there is a two type of structures are there one is cell organelles and the others are ergastic material or it is the cell inclusion this cell inclusions are the non living structure usually they are different types of storage material okay so the which one out of this is not the inclusion here cynophysian granules this cynophysian granules are storage uh, uh, food structure which is found in this cyanobacteria that green bacteria okay glycogen granules so this is also a storage glycogen all right polysome and phosphate granules phosphate granules are also inclusion but the polysome here this one is the answer 
which is not an inclusion. So the polysome is not an inclusion. Right? Why polysome is not an inclusion? What are polysomes? Actually, polysomes, polysomes or it is called polyribosome. Okay, but happen that during during the protein synthesis. Okay, during protein synthesis, many ribosomes are seen attached to the mRNA. This one is say mRNA, messenger RNA. So many ribosomes are attached to the mrna and this is that is why this is called polyribosome this chain of ribosome and in short it is polysome okay so this is cell organelles not the inclusion This was also asked in 2015 AIPMT CBSC. Number 11, what is about the genetic material of prokaryotic cell? What is about, what is wrong? What is uh, about the genetic material? Which one is correct? What is uh, here? It will be what is correct or true. Okay. You write what is true about the genetic material of prokaryotic cell. In the prokaryotic cell, that is, we will take the example of simply whenever say prokaryotic, think about the bacteria. Possess a small circular DNA called plasmid. Say, this is the bacterial cell. Bacterial cell has a main, only one main DNA. And that DNA is circular, ring-like. Means that there is no free end. This is the main DNA or the genetic material. Beside this one, there are a small, a small, either one or more than one. This circular DNA is there and these are known as plasmid. Okay. This is known as plasmid. So this prokaryotic cell possesses a small circular DNA called plasmid. This is true. 
not enveloped by nuclear membrane. This one also true that the genetic material of the bacteria or prokaryote, they are not within the nuclear membrane. Composed of a single circular DNA, this genetic material of prokaryotic cell is complete, uh, composed of a single circular DNA. All right. In case of eukaryote, the DNA is linear. In eukaryote, it is linear. Linear means they have free end to end. But here, as it is circular, no free end is there. So in prokaryote, it is circular. In eukaryote, it is linear. And in eukaryote, it is more than one chromosome. But in prokaryote, main chromosome is only one. So all the, all the above are correct. All are true about the prokaryotic, genetic material of the prokaryote. On next 12. Which of the following is not true about plasmid? Now come to the plasmid. We have learned about plasmid. These are the plasmids are extra chromosomal DNA. These are extra nuclear or extra chromosomal DNA. Jamal DNA. This is plasmid. So about the plasmid, what is true? They are extra chromosomal DNA. That is true. This is the definition, is it? Plasmid. They are used in genetic engineering. See, these plasmids are very, very important. From here, I think you know that genetic engineering by which the genetic makeup of the organisms or the cell is changed. It is artificially. Okay. And that, so this plasmid is useful for the genetic engineering. For plasmid is useful for what? That plasmid provides some of the important genes, genes for resistance. Okay. These genes can be utilized or introduced in the organi other organism's body to confer the resistance. All right. And also, the plasmid is used as a carrier, vehicle, all right. So uh, for this uh, multiplication of a gene, a particular gene which is to be inserted in the body of an organism that can be attached in the plasmid of a bacterial cell and along with the bacteria, this gene also, along with this plasmid of the bacteria, this gene also will multiply. So many copies of the concerned gene we can make. So far it is used for cloning. We call Okay. They are used in genetic engineering. 
so for the gene cloning they are using gene cloning they help in the replication of nucleoid this one is not correct okay nucleoid is nucleoid within the uh, within the bacteria that region area where the genetic material dna is there that area is called the nucleoid or that is the primitive type of nucleus is the nucleoid these plasmids are a small circular and confirms confer certain unique phenotypic character to some bacteria like resistance to antibodies this is also true so only this one is wrong so our answer what is the not true say one thing you always see carefully when you are attempting a question you must see it carefully that whether it is telling true or not true correct or incorrect sometimes if we uh, just uh, confused with that or uh, reading fast fast then we may uh, make it wrong known question also we make mistake okay next is 13 a specialized differentiated form of cell membrane a prokaryotes this one is called mesosome actually what happens say this is a cell this one is bacterial cell this is cell wall okay with the with the red one and drawing cell wall and inner to this is the this is the plasma membrane all right so what happen in the bacterial plasma membrane in some places this plasma membrane is especially folded okay there is folding especially differentiated it is modified and this one is known as mesosome mesosomes are there are several types also this one help in the respiration they don't have this uh, bacteria they don't have uh, mitochondria aslo bacteria they don't have mitochondria so the uh, those uh, respiratory some of the enzymes are present in this mesosome this one the dna that uh, which is uh, during the dna replication this uh, dna is attached to the say this is the dna dna is attached to the mesosome and when there is a dna replication this replicated dna from one dna two dna are formed so these two dna should go to the two cells in case of eukaryote there is a spindle fiber a spindle fiber they ensure the separation of the uh, separation of the chromosome and their movement to the opposite cell opposite pole to the daughter cell no so this things uh, they do this so in case of prokaryotic cell in bacteria this mesosome help in these things okay so this is 
this is uh, the uh, this is uh, mesosome mesosomes are of several types are there okay several types of mesosomes are there mesosomes like uh, they are in the form of vesicle vesicles they may be in the form of tubules they may be in the form of lamellae okay so vesicle tubules lamellae these are the types of mesosomes next question next question select the correct statement which one is correct bacterial cell was is made of peptidoglycan cell wall this one is true a special type of chemical okay is there this is a protein containing the carbohydrate okay and this give some special feature to the bacterial cell wall this is true pili and fimbri are mainly involved in motility of the bacterial cell this is on the surface of the bacterial cell say this is a bacterial cell on the surface of the bacterial cell there are several types of this uh, uh, outgrowth okay several type of structure surface structure is there one of them is important that is known as flagella okay other types are that is one is called the pili pili are the just tube like structure on the surface of the bacteria and beside that one fimbri these are say like a bristle like things small small bristles okay bristles all over the surface there is on the cell wall or the envelope this flagella which is the longest structure having filaments this one is for the motility that is the movement of the bacterial cells and this fimbri and this pili that is pilus singular pili is plural fimbrium fimbri so these are not for organ of motility not for the movement pili a pilus these are the tubular structure okay these are tubular structure and it is a little bit bigger you can say in between the two this flagella and fimbri this one sometime in the bacterial conjugation this genetic transformation this pili are useful they through the pili they can make contact with the other bacteria and this fimbri are very small structure present on the surface of the bacterium this one help the bacteria to stick to some surfaces say so it is stick to the some cell surface or other surfaces or the body surface or substratum okay that is by the fimbri so this statement that 
uh, correct statement. This one is a wrong statement. These are pili and fimbri are not the organ of motility. So our answer will be this. Other are very correct. Cyanobacteria lack flagellated cells. Yes, this is one of the most important character that cyanobacteria, blue-green algae, they don't have flagellated cells. Mycoplasma is a wall-less microorganism. That is true. I told before also that in other prokaryote, other prokaryote means bacteria, cyanobacteria, they have cell wall. Okay. Um, they have cell wall, but the mycoplasma, they don't have cell wall. This was asked in the NEET 2016 question. Next is, next question, okay, but let, but it is almost time. Okay, next one question, I'll, which one is correct about bacterial cell envelope? Bacterial cell Envelope, uh, this is actually this bacterial cell covering. No, that one is a complex structure. So this is known as cell envelope. And in the bacterial cell envelope, this four statement has been given. So which is true? The cell envelope consists of Glycocalyx, one structure is, one layer is called glycocalyx, then cell wall, okay, and after that is cell membrane or the plasma membrane. These three things are there. So outermost is the glycocalyx. Glycocalyx and this glycocalyx thickness of the glycocalyx is different. It may be thin or may be thick. It may be hard or may be fluid-like structure slimy, jelly-like structure, okay? So this one, the glycocalyx, then cell wall, and then cell membrane. So here the statements you hear, outermost wall is followed by glycocalyx and plasma membrane. So it is not true. Here it is telling outermost is cell wall, no. Outermost is glycocalyx, inner to this is cell wall, and innermost is cell membrane or the plasma membrane. So the actual sequence should be, say this one is correct. Outermost glycocalyx followed by cell wall and plasma membrane. This one is the correct statement. Others are wrong. Which of the following does not differ in E. coli and Clamidomonas? See, one thing here, this question has been asked. E. coli is prokaryote. This is a bacteria, Isipsia coli, a prokaryote. And Clamidomonas is, a, is an algae, is an alga, and this one is eukaryote. So you simply, you can think that what is the difference in the prokaryote and eukaryote. In the prokaryote and eukaryote, there is a difference in the cell wall because prokaryote, they have peptidoglycan in 
eukaryote it is cellulose is it so in the cell wall this cannot be chromosomal organization in the prokaryote and eukaryote chromosomal organization differ because here the chromosome is dna single dna circular dna and naked but in this eukaryote it is many linear and associated with protein so this one also not the point of difference no oh, there is a point about this one differ ribosome in in prokaryote ribosome is 70s in eukaryote it is 80s so there is a difference only this cell membrane is the thing so which does not differ does not differ in cell membrane this is need 2013 question okay i i will stop as time okay you may have next class so